share with you yeah in your family family the love of jesus christ jesus christ so tune in tune in and we will grow together to increase our faith with god with one touch in our streets we're touching hearts and changing lives with I'd like to uh, welcome you to One Touch Ministries, second our home gathering, where our uh, episodic uh, leaders is Pastor Shannon and Prophetess Nadija Young, and I'm your campus minister. Okay, we're going to, to uh, start off the reading of um, Scripture. Matthews, man, 18-22. To Jesus. While he spoke these things unto them, behold, there come a certain rule and worship him, saying, My daughter is even now dead, but come and lay thy hand upon her, and she shall live. And Jesus arose and followed him, and so did his disciples. And behold, a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood. 12 years, come behind him and touched the hem of his garment. But she said within herself, if, if I may but touch his garment, I should be whole. When Jesus turned, her, turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of a good comfort, thy faith hath made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. And when Jesus came into the ruler house and saw the mistress of the people making a noise, he said unto them, Give place for the maid is not dead, she is asleep. They laughed at him. They laughed no, they laughed him into a skull. But when the people were put forth, he went in and took her by the hand and the man arose. The fame that hereof went abroad, abroad into all the land. And when Jesus departed, his two blind men followed him, crying, and said, Thy son of David, have mercy upon us. And we and he and when he was come into the house, the blind man came to him, and Jesus said unto them, Believers, ye that I am able to do this. And I said unto him, Yes, Lord. Then touched he their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. And their eyes open, were open, and Jesus straight things chased them, saying, See, that no man know it. It's, this is then clinging to Jesus. When you have you have a problem, you have to have faith and, and stick to go to Jesus and cling to him and he will heal you of, of whatever your situation may be. The Lord word has been ready and blessed for the good of education of our mind, soul, and body. Thank you uh, for the uh, reading of the uh, scripture. Yeah, we're going to uh, go to prayer at this time. Lord, dear Heavenly Father, yeah, we thank you for this morning. 
service that we have. Uh, I thank you for the for the uh, for you uh, giving us food to eat, clothes on our back, uh, giving us us uh, uh, everything that we uh, ever needed. Thank you, Lord, for for providing for us those things that we was in need of. We thank you, and, and, and we uh, continue to give you your praise. Uh, Davy, here we actually here we want to pray for others that are in need of these helps, uh, whether it be assistance of food or shelter or of uh, 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 nursing help. Heavenly Father, I do ask that you do send out some people uh, where to give them information to receive that help. Uh, in the wonderful name of Jesus, I say Jesus, and we pray. Amen. So we're going to go to praise, uh, praise and worship. If you can work it out, if you let him, Jesus will work it out. That problem that I had, I had, it seems uh, as I no, I don't e e e e even know the uh, verse two. Yeah. Oh, I tried and I tried. Lord, so, you will help me out. Work it out, Jesus. Work it out. Uh, and then we're gonna uh, move to the uh, te uh, uh, testimony time. Then, um, then I wanna uh, give, give my testimony that I'm thankful to be alive and and healthy. No, I thank the Lord for yeah, for uh, for keeping me in in my right mind, um, for for providing me with shelter, with food, and. Uh, and to you know, yeah, uh, allow me to still you know get up every day. And so, yeah, I know that there are others you know who may 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 be sick, who may be, um, you know, hungry and all those other things. But I just thank the Lord for actually providing those things for me, so I don't, uh, let's say, suffer. Um, but I should say, would you, uh, anybody else have their own? It's a testimony. To be able to endure whatever comes about, for the good or bad, but still, I still can do it. With or without man, because God is on my side. As long as he's on, on my side, I know everything's going to be all right. He didn't bring me this far to leave me down. When I have food to eat or have clothes to go on my back, he still provides what I need. Uh, thank you for that. It's a, a testimony. Yeah, we're going to um, get into the sermon part of the service now. Um, if you do have your Bibles in, you can follow me at Mark, the uh, book of Mark, chapter 4, verse uh, 35. Now, that's where I'm going to start reading from 35 to 41. Uh, Mark 4.35 reads, In the same evening, uh, Jesus uh, you know, suggested they cross over to the other side of the lake, with Jesus already in the boat. And they left the crowd behind and set sail along with the few other boats that followed. As they sailed, a storm formed. The winds whipped it up huge waves that broke over the bow, filling the boat with so much water that even the expert sailors among them 
were sure they were going to sink. Jesus was back in the stern of the boat, sound asleep on the cushion, when the disciples shook him awake, saying, shouting over the storm, saying, Jesus, Master, don't you care that we're going to die? In verse 39, we read, saying, Jesus got up, shouted words into the wind, and commanded the waves by saying, that's enough. Be still. And immediately the winds died down to nothing, and the waves stopped. Jesus had asked him that, how can you be so afraid? After all you've seen, where is your faith? Verse 41 reads that the disciples were still afraid, slowly coming to grips with what they had seen. So the disciples were speaking to one another, saying, who is this Jesus? How, how can it be that he has power over even the wind and the waves. Yes, uh, yeah, I have one, wanted to uh, talk to you about, not about the wind and the waves, but I wanted to talk to you about the last thing that they said to Jesus here. Well, they said to Jesus, uh, who, who is this Jesus? Most people know know Jesus as, as the, I want to say, as a man that know how to do healings and uh, uh, and deliverances and they know that Jesus know who know how to provide and all those other things and so those are normally things that we I want to say normally will tie Jesus to when it comes to the uh, ministry form uh, 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 of of who he is but however, this part of Jesus was a part that they never seen before. And the part they never seen before was the was the uh, practical part of Jesus. And, and when I say practical, I'm talking about the real part of Jesus. Yeah, we all have people who know who know them as being the 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 you know the 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 uh, pastor of the church. And we know those who are deacons to our uh, uh, deacon boards. And, and we know who are the ushers and, and the musicians in the church. But however, how do we, how much do we know them personally? Now I'm talking about outside of the church or outside of their, their, their daily thing. Do you know them well enough to know that they have a, a compassionate heart? Do you know them close enough to know that they, I want to say, know how, how to stop your problems if they do rise? So with Jesus' situation here, uh, I refer to Jesus here in this story as an as a, uh, incubator. And the uh, incubator it, it is a de device to provide a safe space a controlled space for infants to live while their vital organs develop. Yeah, unlike a simple, I want to say, basket net, an incubator provides an environment that can be adjusted to provide the ideal temperature as well as the perfect amount of oxygen, a hue, humidity, and light. So here, when Jesus, when when they was having problems with with the boat, yeah, they ran to Jesus, and they was you know uh, wonder why Jesus sleep. And so when when they went to go walk him, they went to go wake him, but to you know probably tell them to to stop the boat or tell them to turn the boat around or something to, to solve the problem. But you see, Jesus uh, uh, didn't tell them to do neither one. He he stood up, and, and we instantly see him uh, turn our havoc situations in, yeah, into a calming environment, and that all came from because we we was in the midst of Jesus, 
not him on the Sunday when he's preaching in the pulpit or, or when he's out casting out demons or healing sick. We was with him personally, you know, when we was in a, a personal situation. And so how many times have we ever allowed, I want to say, Jesus and other people which you speak into our lives, uh, into our personal lives, to help us with to get a more more calm. Uh, I want to say to, to, to help us feel like we're safe, but to help us feel like we we're we're no longer surrounding around danger. And so people may only know you, you know, as being the person you know who like to fight or who person who know who like like to get drunk or person who who like to get high but however but then those are the people that I normally meet that are the most kindest people and so those are the ones who even though they have a drinking problem even though they have a fighting you know uh uh uh, uh I want to say yeah they they yeah they may be hot temperature but those are normally the people who are normally caring the most for for other people and so here here in 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 Isaiah twenty six and three, uh, Isaiah spoke and said that thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusts in thee. And so, no, the Lord isn't just want to provide you a safe and a controlled space, but he wants to also not physically just physical space, but he wants to provide you with with. With, with 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 a perfect peace in mind mentally, uh, in the side of our hearts, and so here, uh, so the the this side of Jesus is again is is a part that his disciples didn't know of him, It's because they only knew him for for the the miracles and and the him taking the five thousand and 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 you know feeding the those people. But they never knew him personally, and so this was a uh, introduction to them getting to know who who Jesus really is. So, so just ask yourselves that have you spent enough personal time with Jesus, Jesus, to know that he's a he's a uh, incubator inside of our life, meaning meaning that you know uh, that that we're that we interact with him so much that we attend to show other people, you know, our, 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 uh, compassionate side, or we able to allow Jesus to, uh, show him, uh, uh, his, his safe side or his compassionate side. And so, yeah, now I just, uh, want you to be blessed with that. Now, I just wanted to read you the, the sevenfold uh, blessings here. You were talking about being an incubator. Did you remember when you was born, you was in one? Yeah. Uh, incubator? Yeah. We brought you through, didn't you? Yeah. And look where you at now. Trust and obey. There's no other way. You can be happy in Jesus. Trust and obey. Uh-huh. Uh, I was going to read the sevenfold blessings. For, uh, no, I speak blessings of one, a uh, health for you and, and your family. Uh, number two, I speak blessings of deliverance from any habits that you have in your life. Number three, I speak blessings of peace to your mind from anybody or anything that may be disturbing you. Number four, I speak blessings of salvation to any friends or loved ones. Uh, number five, I speak blessings of comfort to any person that's hurting, that's lonely, that's bereaved, or that's confused. Number six, I speak blessings of finances, debt cancellations, prosperity, uh, economic empowerment to all of God's people according to his riches and glory. And then number seven, I speak blessings of anointings and promotion in your life to complete your assignment to move forward in your purpose. 
And now, if you do have your uh, Bible with you, or you want to just follow along, uh, uh, you can find our uh, benediction speech on on the book of Numbers, chapter 6, verse 24 through 26. Here. And, oh, yeah. Are you uh, ready? Okay. Say, uh, uh, may God bless you. May God keep you. May God smile on you. May God gift you. May God look you full in the face and make you prosper. Amen.